subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends. So in this video we discuss what is the DHCP starvation attack. So in the DHCP starvation attack, an attacker targeted DHCP server by sending a number of spoof DHCP discovery packets to exhaust all available IP address on the DHCP server. So after a successful attack, a legitimate user unable to get the IP address from the DHCP server. So in this video we discuss how to DHCP work, how do DHCP starvation work and how to perform a DHCP starvation attack. So let's start with how to DHCP work. So in the, uh, in the DHCP, basically when a client uh, connect with a network, client requests to the DHCP server to provide an IP address. So first of all, client send a DHCP discovery packet. Basically it's broadcast this packet into the network and the DHCP server receive that packet and provide an, uh, an offer. So in this offer, DHCP server offer an IP address from their available IP pool. And this request will be the unicast request. And then the DHCP server wait for approx one minute from getting the reply from the DHCP server and the DH, sorry, DHCP client and the DHCP client then request for that IP address. So this request must be sent within the one minute, otherwise DHCP server discard that session, that conversation. So DHCP client send a DHCP request to the DHCP server for offered IP address and DHCP server check the parameters and accept that request that known as the DHCP act. And DHCP server maintain a table in which it's list that IP address was assigned to this MAC address like that. So that is the complete conversation between the DHCP client and DHCP server to get the IP address and this conversation also known as DORA, DORA process. So the weakness or the vulnerability is there in the second step when the DHCP server offer an IP address to the client. So DHCP server list that offer IP address in a temporary list like that that IP will temporarily utilize. So it will uh, not offer that IP address for another computer within that same time. So take, a uh, like take the uh, advantage of this issue and uh, adjust all the available IP address on the DHCP server. So if you look in this diagram, an attacker send number of DHCP discovery request on the network by using different different MAC address. You can say using the spoof MAC address. And for each request, DHCP offer a unique IP address for each each, uh, each request. So like that an attacker send the thousands of requests to the DHCP server and for each request DHCP server offer the IP address. So let's suppose a DHCP server has 250 IP address. An attacker uh, broadcast the 250 DHCP fake DHCP discovery request. So DHCP server offer all 250 IP address for those 250 requests. And uh, after that DHCP server does not have any any remaining IP address. So let's suppose at that time if any user try to get an IP address and user send a DHCP discovery request but the server do not have any available IP address. So server discard that request. Okay. Server send a DHCP like uh, neck to the client. So the DHCP uh, starvation attack is work like that. So let's check how to perform this DHCP starvation attack. So I'm going to my lab. So here I have server and here I have configured a DHCP server. So if you look there, here I have a DHCP scope and this is scope uh, there is a single IP leashed to this Kali machine. There is no other IP address and if you look at the pool, so in this pool, it has approx 99 IP address. So if you check the statics, so here you can find that 
वन आईपी एड्रेस इन यूज एंड नाइनटी एट आईपी एड्रेस आर स्टिल अवेलेबल ऑन माई डी एच सी सर्वर सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द डी एच सी पी स्टार अटैक ऑन दिस नेटवर्क टू एक्जोस्ट दिस अवेलेबल आईपी एड्रेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू माई काली मशीन सो हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी चेक अवर इंटरफेस सो लेट चेक आईपी ए सो हेयर माई इंटरफेस नेम इज ई टी एच जीरो दैट आर कनेक्टेड विद दैट नेटवर्क and it's get an ip address from the dhcp server okay now i'm going to load a tool that known as yasenia yasenia i'm going to start in graphical mode so here is we have a alpha version of yasenia okay now first of all we need to select our interface so edit interface and here check your interface that are connected with target network so eth0 okay now i'm going to launch an attack so launch attack and here select dhcp and send dhcp discovery packets select this one and okay so it will send the thousands of request within some seconds so look there it's continuously sending the number of request now i'm going to stop this attack list attack and you can stop from here stop attack okay so look there within few seconds it send approx 1.5 lakh dhcp discovery request now let's check on the dhcp server so if we go on our dhcp server i am going to refresh this one and find here look there are no available ip address all ip address in in used state there is no available ip address and if you check here it's get approx 1.4 lakh dhcp discovery request and it's offer only 99 remaining ones was discards okay so like that you can perform a dhcp starvation attack on a dhcp server and after that if any user try to uh, connect with the dhcp server to get the ip address dhcp server unable to provide the ip address because dhcp server does not have any available ip address okay so it's kind of dos attack on the dhcp server but attacker can also use this attack for some other purpose so let's uh, attack a place there on dhcp server in that net in that network and providing like some wrong parameters like default like their own default gateway their fake dns server ip like that so uh, attacker can completely compromise the whole network by using this attack so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe this channel for new updates